Hello, welcome to F1 in two minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Now, today is the following video for the magnets introduction. And today we're going to be showing a practical example of how it can be used with a music system. Here I have three musical loops and I've created a simple system which basically allows it to transition from one loop to another as we see fit. In this scenario, I want loop A to be able to go to loop three and then loop two and then loop three again and then loop one and just randomly change to whichever loop I want, as opposed to being linear going from loop one to two to three and then finishing. Right now, as you can see, I've had to add two transition regions to each loop plus a loop region and destination markers in order to make this work. Whilst this is feasible or achievable in this scenario, if I had 10 of these loop regions, the whole event is going to get pretty messy and pretty complicated. By comparison, if I use magna regions, this is what that same system looks like. I simply have three magnet regions doing exactly the same thing. Right, pretty simple, just a very simple uh, labeled parameter to switch between the three. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the extra features that come with a magnet region. If I select one of them, and go down here to the transition conditions again. The offset now, if I click this drop down and select a relative, what's going to happen is instead of the transition starting the loop at the beginning of the next one, like normal transition regions would, instead it will start relative to the position that it left the previous loop, right? It's easier if I show you, okay? So I'm going to play this track and I'm going to transition the, the loop at around the 50% mark halfway and you'll see that it will jump to loop two at exactly the same position, like so. Oh, first of all, we have to select relative on both of the loops that we want to go to. Okay, here we go. So you can see that when it jumped, it started more or less halfway through this loop relative to the position of that one, right? Now, the other option that we have is inverted, which is the same thing, but doing the opposite. I'm going to do that with loop one to loop three this time. I'm going to do the same thing halfway. Actually, no, I'm going to do this time. I'm going to transition at around 25% of this loop. And you're going to see that it's going to jump around here on loop three. Here we go. Right? Very simple stuff. I hope this gives you an idea of how you might use this. Maybe a scenario calls for this. It could even be an ambiences for sound design, I reckon. In any case, you can see that at the very least, magnets really help clean up your event, make things a lot simpler, and hopefully more efficient. There you go. I hope this helps, and I hope this encourages you to find ways to use magnet regions in your FMOD projects.